In 2009, I had the idea to buy Billionaires.com. The Billionaires.com miniseries is your chance to get hyper-valuable and unique takes from celebrity billionaires like Tony Robbins and many more. And this guy said, this is great, I love it, I'll give you two and a half million. This series gives you access to exclusive insights from in-person and audio interviews hosted by none other than the founder of the Family Office Club, Richard C. Wilson. Get started now with an official introduction to the $1 billion plus Expert Insights miniseries and see what these nationally renowned billionaires have to say about winning and succeeding in the game of capitalism. This guy, like, like of all the power players I've had in here, he's the smartest guy we've had here. <laughs> no doubt. I'm about to talk to you about the most important investment for every single person here in the room. Um, so I want to make sure everyone is paying attention here. If you don't make this investment, all of your other investments are not worth anything. Um, and so this is really a key, key investment that you need to always be thinking of, focusing on and be making progress on. And that is investing in being ultra healthy and investing in your health. Really often I find a client that has 80 employees and they're worth $20 million. They literally have a Ferrari and they eat Wendy's every day for lunch because that's what their secretary brings them. Or I have a client who has so much fun running their business or running around and they have 120 LLCs and they're worth $100 million, but they don't have a chef or someone to slap the french fries out of their hand or they don't have biomarkers taken on their blood to figure out what they need to improve in their life, right? It's, it's really backwards that they treat their Mercedes or Land Rover or Rolls Royce better than they treat their own body and they're gonna get bored of that car every year and a half, right? Uh, you, got one, you have one body. So uh, this is something we need to bring up all the time with our clients because they just don't naturally focus on it enough. You'd think they would. They focus on travel and fun experiences and more business ventures all the time. That's what they're passionate about. They don't focus on health a lot. Um, before I jump into that, I just wanted to bring up this slide again. For those of you who didn't see it yesterday, listen throughout the day to investment structures different types of investors you could be approaching. We're gonna have the CEO of the Florida Panthers up here on stage who worked for a single family office before that talking about it. He's gonna give a tip or two on working uh, with professional athletes, uh, working with doctors. Our discussion panel this morning is gonna be a doctor discussion panel, uh, how to co-GP deals or JV deals instead of do a traditional um, LP raise with investors. Um, and just listening throughout the event for just niches and strategies and ways to collaborate with other people in the room. All right, so what I said here is uh, not only talk to your lawyer, but maybe your doctor as well before you do anything that you, you see here. So I showed this slide yesterday. We like doing outdoor, outdoor adventure trips with friends. Uh, it's just what we enjoy doing naturally. Um, and I made the example earlier, most people will spend you know, $600, $1,700 getting your car tuned up once a year. But for $700, you can go to Inside Tracker and have your blood drawn in your house with a nurse that comes to your house if you're busy and it takes 10 minutes. And then they're gonna read off to you over 50 biomarkers and say, hey, your cortisol is, hey, is, is low. Your vitamin B is low, this is low. And then it will tell you six different things you can do to change that. So if you are not doing this, you value your car being tuned up more than your body in a way, which is super backwards, right? So um, I was at a wealth management event where everybody in the audience, audience there's like 180 people spent $30,000 a year to be part of that club. And I said, who in the room has spent $30,000 on your health in the last year? And one person raised their hand. And I don't know if they had a elective surgery or something else they had spent the money on, but nobody else in the whole room spent money on their health. They spent it on their health. So you care more about your money than being high energy, feeling good, being alive, living longer. That doesn't really make a lot of sense, right? Um, how many people here spend more than $5,000 proactively improving their health? A few people, great, awesome. Um, so why don't people do this? Many times they're too focused and excited about their business. They're too focused on what they're good at doing and that's why they have a family office. That's why they became really wealthy is they are super focused and able to channel in their energy. Sometimes they're too stressed and they just say, oh, I don't have time for that. I don't have time for that right now. There's too much going on. I'm about to sell my company. If I can just push for another three years or a year and a half, I'll worry about my health later. Um, we hear that uh, quite often. 
Um, but the truth is that everyone around you, you would hope, uh, would much rather you be alive longer, feel better, in a better mood, have more energy, than be worth 20% more money or 50% more money. They would rather you be alive than be worth five times more money than you're worth, right? And so if you ask your spouse or kids that, you would hope you get that answer. Um, if not, maybe you should change who you're around, I guess. Um, and so the interesting thing when you think about investing in your health is that, let's say you're the, the greediest person in this room and all you care about is money. Well, you're not gonna make much money if you die, if you get hospitalized and you get taxed a lot when you die typically. So even if you're super money focused, it doesn't make sense not to invest in your health. So when we work with families, we bring this up proactively, they do not bring it up. And we tell them, we're not bringing this up because we think you're nine pounds overweight or something. We're, we're bringing this up because everybody needs to be doing this no matter where they are with their life. And it might just be stress management with their health. It might not be weight management. It might not be uh, some type of very specific acute issue. Um, and so it's just kind of backwards priorities. And I think in the family office space, we need to talk about it more because uh, we talk about hundreds of types of investments. Almost nobody ever talks about investing in your health. Um, so we wanna be bringing that conversation up more and more in the industry. Um, if you have, if you are ultra healthy, you'll have more energy, a longer career, you can have a longer investment horizon, um, less unexpected events, like less likely um, statistically to have as many issues with like COVID or a random hospitalization, et cetera. Um, be able to focus better, um, and be a better example for your kids and your team versus sacrificing yourself and your health. And then people around you just grow up thinking, well, that's what you have to do. If you want to be a success, you just have to work 24 hours a day and never sleep. And all that matters is money. It's probably not the right message you want to be sending to the next generation anyways. Although I know a lot of people in here have a really strong work ethic and that's what made you successful enough to be here in the room or help you sell your business. Um, there's some people that uh, our inspirations, you'll see some here on the stage uh, today. Kevin Harrington um, from season of Shark Tank and as seen on TV. We help him set up a uh, shark family office uh, brand. We've closed two transactions with him, uh, including the investment into Canapreneur. We also, he hasn't, I don't think he's drank alcohol in maybe 10 or 15 years. And he works out almost every single day. You can tell he's high energy, good shape. Um, we have a Paul and Wes Carter here who run Twin Focus Capital. They manage $8 billion. They only have 40 families. Their average family's net worth is $190 million. And uh, Paul is gonna be on stage later today. I think he's on the last discussion panel today. Um, but they're both super disciplined fit. We've got uh, Ricardo, are you here in the room? A chance, I don't know if uh, Ricardo Giannini's here in the room. Um, but he's a good friend here and he um, works out every single day of his life, high energy. He just sold his fin fintech company to a big bank 18 months after launching it. Uh, Dan Sullivan is in his 70s. And he says, you know, the competition is pretty easy at my age because I'm compete. The people at my level, they're all in nursing homes, not doing anything. So he's like, and he tries to burn a thousand calories before his day begins. So he gets on a row machine and, and a Vesper machine, et cetera. And he's working out just about every single morning. And then Evan Pagan, he's going to be speaking this morning at 9 a.m. He was an early mentor of mine, teaching me about switching out maybe uh, green veggie shakes for coffee. Maybe have real energy in your body instead of fake energy from caffeine, um, stuff like that. So these are just some inspirations for me and just people that you'll see here at the event that are related to this idea of being uh, ultra healthy. These are some investments you can make. You could get an MRI, there's a company called Pronovo, and you can do an MRI every 12 to 18 months and identify over 300 types of tumors or problems that you may not identify. And if you identify, identify stuff early, it's usually much, much better. You can go to Mayo Clinic and get an annual executive physical that just proactively looks for things that may be wrong. You could go to, there's a healthcare company called Go Forward. I think it's goforward.com and it's proactive health management. It's not just fixing something when something's wrong. If you go to a normal doctor and there's no problem, he'll say, why are you here? You're wasting my time. So the whole platform for them is managing your health proactively. Inside Tracker, we mentioned, you can get an $80 scale that tells you your visceral fat level, your fat percentage level, a whole bunch of other fun things um, inside there as well. So you just have to think, you know, what did you spend even coming here to, to this event, to fly here today or to be a member here today and have you invested that much in your health? right and just think about the priorities of where you're putting your money um for many of us if you die early it's typically from cancer or a car accident 
uh, statistically. And so investing a little bit of money in a car that's gonna make it much less likely that you die because somebody else is texting while going down the highway or drunk is an investment that some of you should consider making um, because what's more important than that? So this is what I did this year. We got Model X, which is one of the safest, safest cars ever made. And then we got this Grandpa Mobile, the Lincoln Navigator. It's the only, if you look at luxury SUVs and the highway statistics, uh, the large luxury SUVs have almost a 0% mortality risk for car accidents, but the Suburban and the Escalade, they're all four star crash rating. And the Navigator is the only five star. The Ford Expedition is too, um, but the Navigator has like 35 different safety features and that's why they charge you twice as much for the same car pretty much. Um, so, that's just something that we've, I've been working on because I just realized like, well, what's more important than not dying early in a fiery blaze on the highway, right? Let's just do this and not think about it. Also, if you're on your own business, um, you have to talk to your CPA about this because not your CPA. But um, if the car is over a 6,000 pound rating, this year um, is the last year, I believe, that you're able to um, bonus depreciate or depreciate 100% of the price of the car if it's for business. And so if you just do the math on that, let's say you spend, and you could get a used one, but let's say you get one that's pretty new for $100,000 and you finance 80% of it, you might only need to put $20,000 down. If you can write off that 100,000 because it's for business use, you might save 45,000 on taxes. So you saved 45K cash, you only put out 20K cash. And now on the 80K that could have gone in the car, but you instead finance, you put in some investment that produces a five or 6% return or whatever. And then that, that would pay for the car, right?